Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Dollar Tree Strikes again. That is the last time you'll hear me say that. Title for this uh, series, I think, well, I'm changing the name and I think I want to change to Crafting on a Budget and incorporate all of the dollar stores that I go to, Dollar General, Family Dollar, all the dollar stores, right? Um, and not just Dollar Tree, only because I just don't want to do it anymore, if that makes any sense, um, for more of mor morality purposes than anything else. But let's go ahead and get into it. I do have all of the Dollar stuff, Dollar Tree stuff. If I do a different video from different store, a different store, I will tell you where it came from. But I do have a lot of Dollar Store, Dollar Tree stuff, so that's what we're going to be doing. I think I saw these in 2022 or 2023. I can't remember. And it says it has 16 sheets, 8 designs. And this one's 16 sheets, 8 designs. We probably won't be using this one. I wanted this for fall. It's so cute. But I feel like this is much more of a fussy cut or a transfer type of paper versus what it looks like. So these would be really cute if you put these in little frames. It would be really cute for that. Or whatever you want to do with it. It's your time. And then this piece right here is inserts. And I want to say this is for the Cricut Joy, a Cricut Joy project because these remind me of the Cricut Joy. And so you get 12 of those. You get um, four of these. So two and two. You get two cream, two peach, and four envelopes. So I thought we'd just make some fun cards right now. I was going back and forth. Did I want to do an Easter project or did I want to do this? Did I want to do that? Did I want to do that? But I told myself that I want to try my best to have fun. I think I want to use this one right here. No matter. It says, no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. Robin Williams. That was really cool. Now the creasing's off a little bit, so you gotta keep that, you know, in your mind. But you see, it looks, it fits fine. So what we're gonna do is just cut this down, and I am going to take another sheet of paper, a plain white sheet of paper, and layer this green paper on top of here because it's very flimsy. And then we'll just do one more. And I thought, I thought I liked the artist one, but I also like this one. Let's dare to be ourselves for. We do better than anyone else can. I have other ideas for this paper as well. But I thought this would be really pretty. Like this and just have a little bit of the flowers kind of poking out. I mean they will probably fit great on 5 by 7 cards. But we don't have 5 by 7s do we? No we don't. So I thought that would be real cool. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them down. And then cut them to go on the card. The white paper. So I just want to show you how it's looking. <laughs> so what I did is I cut these down because as I said, these were very, very flimsy papers. And that's okay. I mean, so you get what you pay for, right? That's what we always say when we get uh, things that don't always work out. But I think these are so cute. And if you do uh, journals, if you do photo albums, these are cute little fillers. Like, there's nothing wrong with the, the image. Um, at all so what I did I like this also so what I wanted to do is just glue this down run some glue on the back and just smudge it down and then we're going to cut it out as a hard piece and we're going to layer it up now I was thinking that I should get some paper we'll see I don't know but let's go ahead and uh, glue all right, so we are back, and I just want to say that if you decide to do this with this particular um, weight of paper, I recommend a glue sponge, not, or if you have a spreader, because you can see right here we got some boo-boos, and right here we have a little bit of a boo-boo, but that's okay because, or if you have a, uh, a Xyron and you want to, use it as a sticker that probably would be good as well but I don't have a Xyron this uh, size and I feel like that would be a waste of a lot of paper Xyron paper 
the sticky labels even if the one that I have could fit this one I feel like that'd be a waste because look now here we are and I'm gonna cut this off a little bit so on one of them this one that we're cutting right now I actually smeared everything on my finger except for this one side and I was like mm -mm, we're not uh, wasting it and then over here what we're gonna do is just trim it down some and see I was so distracted by the trash people because I forgot to take out the trash so now I gotta wait till Monday it's raining here right now well it was this morning and so you know it slipped my mind I'm not I don't have a good memory anyway so you know sometimes things slip my mind I would I might have to start putting it out at night time I usually um put it out when I drop my son off like before I leave to drop him off I'll put it out but I just it was raining and I forgot so anyway now that we've cut these down different sizes see look at that different sizes it does not matter we're going to layer this up and we're gonna get us a cute little card out of it like this one should be fine by itself right this one will be fine by itself but I'm still gonna layer it up and I just want to make sure these are a two size cards because lately I've been thinking that they've been a two so this is four and a quarter and it's off a little bit I'm in five and a half I'm not going to uh, re re uh, crease it though just so you can see so they did okay they did good right they did uh what I would do all right so we're doing a little bit of cheating just a little bit we got this paper green yep and then we got this little pink paper and I thought it'd be really cool to put it right here and then put this here right so let's do, just get this open just like that so let's go ahead and glue this down you probably don't even need to glue it you could probably um, use some tape but glue is so final in the heat in the heat where I live all of it would come off but adhesive definitely unsticks over time I think at least now I told myself this was five and a half you see it's not even fitting all the way that's okay where's the burnish okay Yeah, I might go ahead and make my glue sponge set up so you can see how that works because some projects definitely I think would be better or beneficial for me at least to be glued down versus um, you know all the way glued now this probably wouldn't have been bad to do on the Zyron but I just feel like that's a waste of paper but I have been looking into adhesive paper Double, not yet. Well, double-sided adhesive, or even the foam adhesive, would probably work for uh, for some of the projects that we do. Let's make sure we put it on the right side. Okay. Burnish all of this down. I think I'm going to I should have trimmed it a little bit more this is not stuck on all the way I don't know what's going on I do know what's going on application right you didn't applicate it right <laughs> oh, goodness if you wonder what I'm doing I'm gonna put this seam on this paper so it doesn't go onto the craft paper so that the when the glue oozes out it oozes out on that and not on the craft paper see how it just oozed out right there if it's oozing out on a scrap paper it's okay 
I'm not ready to get rid of this particular page yet. And thankfully this dry is clear so we're okay but you know a little bit of help never hurt all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and place this down just like that actually you know what I think I'm gonna no I was gonna pop it up but we're not oh my goodness I'm gonna leave it flat gonna put this on here I'm just gonna line it up with the edge turn it over and apply some pressure so if you've been wondering should you get any of these products from the Dollar Tree They, they're paper, right? Burnishing it out. And I'm going to come on this side and do the same thing. Alright, All right, so there we go. That's our first one. And I'm not putting any jewels or gems on it because it's a Dollar Tree project versus all all out everything project right now I don't think this one particularly needs a layer because it's still so wide and it fits pretty decently so I think that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna slap it on there but I'm gonna attempt to treat the insides of both cards just with some plain sh paper nothing fancy Okay. And now I'm going to do it like this. Let's go up just a little bit. Now I feel like these kind of cards, I don't know. Are these good cards to have? I feel like these are more like picture frame cluster on the wall kind of cards versus. I mean, not cards, but, you know, you put them in, in the little cluster. And it's very, it's a popular thing where they have bunches of, bunch, maybe eight, nine, ten random um, pictures, flowers, animals, and all that stuff on the wall. I feel like this is one of those, especially with those quirky sayings. You know, like even in a, some people have coffee coffee stations in their kitchen or in the wherever they have their uh, coffee pot and it's like you know uh, I haven't had my first cup or coffee and, and whatever else for, but first coffee you know those kind of uh, things Now the card is it's kind of flimsy as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put a white paper in there. All right, so we are going to be using this butterfly on this one. Did come from the Dollar Tree, was a dollar. I'm not going to have it in flight, although I'm tempted, but I will not it just like that also I was like oh I could get some jewels I do have some Dollar Tree jewels for this one but since I know that I have Dollar Tree jewels right I'm just gonna go ahead and use the ones I have on my desk because who wants to go and track down gems in a random location that you may not even remember not I said the cat 
Y'all remember that story? It was, I think it's called the red hen. The red hen uh, needs some help cooking. She's going to make a cake or some a pie. And she asked for help from the other barn animals. And they're like, not I. Not I. Not I. And then she said, well, who's going to help me eat this? And everybody volunteered. And she was like, nope. <laughs> Next time, maybe, when you help me. Y'all remember that story, don't you? I think it's a, it's a learning lesson, of course. But I can't. I'll look it up before um, before we end. We'll know about the red hen. I think it's called the red hen. Yeah, that's good. I want them to be a little bit in different sizes. All the ones that I got from Dollar Tree probably have adhesive already on there. We don't have adhesive. Now, I'm most proud of this one um, because this is the one that I was, I liked the most. But it's also the one that really messed up. Does it make sense? Like it, um, yeah, the way it's coming out is coming out great. I'll just leave it at that. So we're going to go ahead and do some dab dubious Okay, so before we get too deep into our finished craft project, it is called The Little Red Hen, and it says, what is the moral of the story? It says, the lesson taught you that the story of The Little Red Hen, which is folklore about the importance of hard work and value of helping one another. So yes, yeah, like a little lesson I learned in school. I'm sure it was in school. Um, when I was a kiddo. So anyway, this is our no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. And then this is how the inside looks. And then here is our other one. Let's dare to do, let's dare to be ourselves for we do that better than anyone else. And this is the inside. I feel like these are cards that you give your friends that may be, hmm, or someone you know, that may be kind of like, oh, you know having a hard day anyway so we we use almost everything from dollar tree except for the paper these are scraps laying around and cutting anything fresh or new and then we just use two sheets out of here we did not use the other one at all i feel like i want to slap that on a scan and cut and cut it but i feel like this also is probably going to be some fussy cutting because it's so thin and you know i really don't have a fondness of fussy cutting anyway um i hope that you've enjoyed this let me know about a title if you I'm, I, I need a new title. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.